What is up guys? Welcome to the Sweet Outdoors! We're outdoors. We are doing some pre-hunt scouting for a rifle hunt that I've got coming up in a couple of weeks. Uh, we're going to hang trail camera and we're just going to ride around and check it out. See how wet it is. It is wet. We are at OK Slough in Henry County. This is what we're looking at as we drive. It's pines, palmettos, it's oaks, it's scrubs, it's grass, and it's a lot of damn water. It is wet out here. This right here is actually a particular little, little dry area. Uh, I haven't seen any wildlife yet, aside from just your average birds. But no, I haven't seen any deer, any hogs, or anything like that. I uh, saw a couple of turkeys on the way in, but that was it. During General Gun, you can't shoot turkeys, so I'll probably see a thousand of them. Uh, I don't know how much actual... I, I know I won't do any tree stand hunting when I come out here. Uh, it'll either be just posting up under a nice shade tree somewhere. We're doing this right here because it's just hot. I mean, look at that. The water literally comes across the road in some spots. Catch you some crawfish though. Birds out there. Uh, stick around, people. Hopefully, I can get something for you to show you. This is actually a new section that they have now. I've never been in here. Buddy told me about it. So we are gonna see what's back here. Man, what so far I'd like what I see. Take that. I'm not a hundred yards from the truck. Some beautiful scenery back here. It is wet. That's for sure. We have been getting a lot of rain. And this is a slough, so go figure. One of the reasons why I hate hunting South Florida anymore because I'm tired of hunting this crap. Definitely some potential out here. Even the high areas are sopping wet. I've got a nice bugs crawling on me. A lot of potential back here. further back before I hang in the camera. Okay. I think I found the location. Hang the camera. Nice open pine oaks. Right over flag pond. Right out there. So probably 
very likely. I'm gonna hang the camera right here, facing. If I hang it on this tree, maybe facing out here. Leave it out here for about two weeks. See what we get. All right, there it is. Trail camera's home. And hopefully nobody finds it. All right. Now I gotta make my way back to the truck, which is that way, because I got something else for you. Just in case you didn't know, if you're new to this area, there are bears in here there are panthers or panthers bobcats feral hogs deer and there's also cattle because this is a there is a working cattle ranch that connects with this i have gotten pictures sitting in my stand during an archery hunt with a bear walking right underneath me. I will try to find those pictures and put them in the video. Uh, October 2015, Woods and Water, they were published in there. If you wanna get a back order of that, but I will try to find them. My son has pictures of bear on some of his trail cameras where they came up to the trail camera and tried to eat it. So be very careful when out scouting and hunting or just out walking in the woods. Um, seeing as how this is a management area and right now there is no ongoing hunts. I didn't want to bring a firearm, but I brought this. Uh, I'm not going in unarmed. Uh, I, I know against a bear, it's not the best thing to have, but it's better than having nothing. I'd rather take my chances with that knife instead of my bare hands. I mean, even though I used to be a ninja. Just kidding, guys. Uh, I also carry a pocket knife with me. Today I'm carrying Kershaw. Uh, you've seen the video on this. If not, check it out. It was a Kershaw camping tool set. So check that one out. I'll put a link in the description. Oh, it's very toasty out here. Yeah, took a little pit stop. Panther Pond Campground is what it's called. Back here's campground. And here's a pond. And here comes an alligator. Keep this in my truck at all times. The so faithful beetle spin. I see bass in there. I see bluegill in there. <laughs> I see an alligator in there. Let's uh, see what happens here. Alligator might get too friendly and I might have to set him in his place. Yeah, he's five footer, four and a half. Uh, still nothing you wanna mess with. These little ponds like this are hard to catch fish in because there's just so much food for them to eat. If I had crickets, I'm sure I could catch some. I have caught a few little little bass in here. On, I believe I was using a beetle spin or maybe some power bait or something like that, I don't know. But I like to keep this little reel in my truck Give me some, some 
something to do sometime when I'm riding around and see a nice spot, excuse me, that I wouldn't mind trying. And uh, not to mention, emergency situation if I had to, if I broke down somewhere, needed food, I have the potential to catch food. There's a sign right there that says, you know, use caution. Gators are present. That should be common sense in the state of Florida. If it's got water, it's got the potential to have alligators. But you also gotta watch for snakes and other critters. Water is extremely nasty due to the rain, of course, that we've been getting. Yeah, I didn't figure we'd catch anything, but it's always worth a shot. Right, like I said, I do see some little brim, little bluegill, a couple little largemouth bass. One of these days we'll come out here with maybe a bucket of crickets, a good old fashioned cane pole. Do us a uh, catch, clean, and cook right here, right off the tailgate of the truck. If the gator keeps his stuff up, we'll do one with him. He's definitely following me. I'm sure that the campers that come out here probably feed him. We're still driving. Stuffed this little pond right here. Pulled out a little fishing pole. Hold on. Look at that beast! <laughs> What the heck? <laughs>